What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we have a lot of exciting things to talk about today regarding Scream 5. The official Scream Twitter page put out this tweet today. We know last time when they did this, it was with seven red dots. Now it's seven days until the last trailer that we got. Now it's three red dots. So hopefully this means we're getting our second trailer on Monday, this upcoming Monday. So we also got told through like some outlets like collider i think is the one who exclusively broke this they had released some new character posters finally of david arquette as dewey nev campbell as sydney and courtney cox as gail weathers and they all look tremendous all of these character posters i don't think we've ever had this before at any point in time in any other of the marketing campaigns for these films where we had posters like this patterned after the og characters look at this this is nev campbell's poster. this looks amazing i like the way this looks she looks great the just everything about it just got me even more excited about the film again dewey has one gail has one we also are supposed to have some type of panel tomorrow at ccxp in brazil with paramount where something regarding scream is going to be talked about something big some more exciting things should be coming out that's what collider had stated in their article that they put out today i'll leave a link to that in the description so we have more to look forward to over the weekend i know i put out a video earlier talking about us getting something on saturday so maybe we will indeed get some new footage maybe we'll have more official images released or maybe we'll have like a 30 second short clip that teases us to be prepared for the trailer that comes on monday when we get the second trailer the other thing that i want to talk about was just regarding uh going back to the posters i know that the admin of the twitter account the official screen twitter account they had like captions for all of them sydney's was like you can't keep running forever sydney and i've seen people talk about oh, well what what is that about i think dewey's was regarding still want to be the hero gail's was like hey you you want the next major story or something like that but sydney hers was like oh you can't keep running forever i've seen people speculating that oh this might mean that one of them is the killer this time around i don't think that's what that means and the way i was interpreting it was that given that we know that ghostface isn't even after sydney prescott this time around from what we can tell that's what everything is pointing towards this is basically like a halloween 2018 scenario where michael myers is not after laurie strode but laurie strode is after michael myers i think that's the same vibe you're going to get with screen five sydney prescott is the one that's going to be chasing ghostface hunting him down she won't be the one running away hence like a caption you can't keep running forever well she won't be running in this one ghostface in a way even though that's not what they are going to be intentionally doing <laughs> there's going to be ducking and dodging going after their target trying to stay away from sydney prescott i guess sydney prescott in a way will be hunting down ghostface and in a way you can say that ghostface is the one on the run now it's it's vice versa whereas in the past we know we've seen ghostface chasing sydney now sydney is the one chasing down ghostface trying to stop them from going after sam carpenter tara carpenter all her friends protecting her boyfriend richie etc that's just what i was taking away from that you can't keep running forever sydney sydney is now in a position where she won't be running she will be the one doing the hunting she is going to be the one pursuing ghostface and ghostface will do everything they can to evade miss prescott up until of course the final act where they come and come together in person and we get the big blowout finale that we know we always get with all the screen movies with some chaos galore bloodshed hopefully a ending that you could argue is right up there with the original trilogy in ways or the original film i meant to say so tomorrow is when this like twitch stream is supposed to begin at 6 30 p.m eastern if you're in the eastern time zone i think that might be 3 30 if you're in the other time zone so what they could show i don't know uh they could show something related to the new cast members they could show something that has to do with whatever courtney and nev were working on in that image i know i put out in my original video i did earlier this week where they were clearly sitting down doing something press related for the film maybe we see something from that interview but honestly the only thing i know we're all honing in on is hoping that they show a glimpse of this trailer if not the whole thing before it officially releases online on monday i just feel like that would be very cool you literally are going to get an exclusive look at the whole trailer potentially uh the only downside of that of course is people who will screen record it and then leak it online so that's probably the thing that's eliminating that happening 
The other thing I want to talk about was Martha Meeks and the chance of her spot in the film getting cut. Now, we know Melissa Barrera slipped up and posted her on the beach with Heather Mazzarazzo. She quickly deleted it, but not quick enough because you guys were posting it. I was posting it too. <laughs> posting it all over Twitter. And we basically cracked the code that she's in this film somehow. And then we learned that sh she's going to be the mother of Chad and Mindy Meeks Martin. So Randy's nieces and nephew. Uh, so basically her role could have potentially been cut from the film now from what I've been told and from other reliable sources who have been reliable in the past so far her role was not cut what may have happened is she's just been reduced to something very minuscule maybe we see her in the film on a phone conversation or something like that but I was just told on I'm a good authority from another person who's just been constantly consistent with what they've been telling us about Screen 5. Her role wasn't cut, per se. Now, that's not to say that the version we see is going to be including Martha Meeks. But from what I've been been told, she's not cut from this film. That, again, does, doesn't mean that we actually won't see a version where she was cut. She could still be cut. But as of right now, what I'm being told, she is still involved in this movie somehow. She might have just have like a very small scene where she gets a phone call or just something related to Chad and Mindy. And then that's as much as we'll see from her. And of course, those of you who saw Scream 3, that'll be a nice little Easter egg for you. And then she's gone. She's not going to be a major character at all in the film. As far as what I was even expecting her to be, I just thought she was just going to be a parent that you see and then she was going to disappear anyway. And that's, I would imagine that's exactly what her role will be in Screen 5. She's not going to be someone who is right there in the thick of things, getting revenge for Randy or anything like that. She's not going to be one of the ghost face killers or nothing like that. I don't see that happening. She's just going to be someone who's going to be like a nice little nod to Scream 3 since that's the last time we saw her. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. What do you think we're going to see tomorrow at that panel? Do you think we'll see the trailer? Do you think we'll get something else? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.